Hey folks, I'm Peter Melhorn. If you do any drifting or dragging for catfish and have wondered what your options are for a sinker, you're gonna wanna watch this video. Well, folks, if you watched any of my catfishing videos, you'll know that I really like to drag or drift for catfish. And in most instances, that means you gotta main contact with the bottom or at least be close to the bottom. Obviously for that, you need some kind of a sinker and hopefully one that won't get snagged up. Now there are a lot of options out there for drifting weights from a simple bank sinker all the way up to some of the more fancier rattling drift weights. Now personally, I think I've used just about every kind of sinker there is when I'm drifting and dragging for catfish. Some of them I like better than others and sometimes there are certain instances and places where I prefer one over the other. So what I'm gonna do is show you some of the different sinkers that I use and what I like about them. Now, when I started out drifting and dragging for catfish, I used the slinky, flexible, snake weight uh, type drifting sinker. Back then, we made them ourselves at home out of some paracord or some shoelace. Uh, we basically filled it up with some uh, bird shot, uh, you could buy boxes of shot and put it in there, would measure them out, get them to about an ounce and a half, two ounces, take a lighter, light one in, pinch it shut, and you had your drift weight. Well, thanks to the internet, we got exposed to some other cool products out there that work, and one of them is the old pencil weight. It's basically a long piece of lead, uh, it's not as long as a pencil, a little bit shorter, but about the same size. And it's either got a hole drilled through it or it's got a loop on one end that you attach to your drift rig and use it for dragging. Now, one of the coolest ones to come out in recent years has been the drifting stick. What it is is a plastic tube that's got weights inside of it that move around freely. They actually rattle. So as it's bumping along, hitting on the bottom, it actually bangs around and makes some noise. It's like having a rattle added to your drift rig. Now, one of the things I noticed when experimenting with the drifting stick in a swimming pool was that they actually float up off the bottom a little bit. They're almost vertical as they're going through the water. And I think that may help with keeping them from getting snagged up. I fished with a lot of different sinkers over the years, uh, a lot of them side by side. I've never really done any testing. I think it would be really hard to do that because the bottom's different. What, you know, one sinker goes to a place and another one doesn't go through. So it'd be really hard to quantify which one is better. But it does seem that the longer sinkers are less likely to snag, especially if you're using enough of a float that is able to lift them up the bottom, off the bottom so that your connection is not dragging all the way uh, flat on the bottom of the lake or river that you're working in. Now, I honestly believe that drifting sinkers are very much a personal preference. And I think there may be some uh, variation from lake to lake, river to river on what works better. Uh, it's definitely something that would probably behoove you to buy a few of them, try a few of them out for your particular type of fishing. Uh, because different ones are gonna work good in different areas, I believe. Uh, pretty much all the ones I've talked about from the slinky weights to the drifting sticks all work really good uh, in all the types of water that I fish. Uh, I feel very comfortable with using any of them when I'm going out on the water. Uh, some of them are more readily available. Uh, the drifting sticks, probably a little bit harder to find, whereas some of the pencil weights, that type thing, may be a little more readily available at one of your local tackle stores. So is there a best sinker for drifting or dragging? I really don't think so. I think it's really hard to pin down which one works best. Like I said, you can go with anything from a bank sinker all the way up to one of the really nice drifting sticks and they're all gonna work. Uh, but there's maybe some things with the way you're fishing that may make a difference in which one you go with. Get some of these, get some drifting sticks, maybe even get some bank sinkers. Uh, some of the slinky weights, get a few and try them out. Here's the thing, it's lead, it's not gonna go bad. Uh, you're gonna use it at some point and you're guaranteed to lose it at some point. So it doesn't hurt to have a few options in the boat. As far as cost goes, it really varies. These here that are easily made in a mold are probably gonna be your cheapest option. 
versus the ones like the drifting sticks that have a little more features to them with the rattles and the elongated shape and the bend and they may be a little bit more so you got to kind of determine where you're going to get your best value and really only you can determine that well hopefully this video gave you a little bit of confidence in going out and buying some different sinkers and giving them a try because you can't really go wrong but it's one great thing about sinkers as long as they sink they're working <laughs>